Let us now proceed and check out the while loop in case of Kotlin. Now the syntax of while loop is pretty simple. So for the while loop you just need to use while followed by bracket open and bracket close. Now inside this you have to simply define the condition right such as i is smaller than let's say 10 or i is smaller than equal to 10. Now what is i? i is a counter variable that will help you to continue with the loop till this condition becomes false. So we have to simply initialize the i value. So here I will simply initialize the counter variable i let's say i colon int equal to let's say 1. Inside the while loop what I will do I will simply try to print all the values let's say print print line print the value of i right. So this is the syntax of while loop. Now at the end let us increment the value of i by using the unary operator of i++. And now let us run the code and let's see the output. So here we go in the output we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now suppose if I ask you to write a program to print all the even numbers starting from 1 till 10. So what to do in that case? So here what I will do? I will simply write a if condition. Let's say if i modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 then in that case simply print the value and finally increment the counter by 1 right. So let us now run our code. So here we get 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So this was all about the while loop in case of Kotlin. And now if you are a beginner in case of programming then please watch this video otherwise if you know how does a while loop works then simply jump on to the next video right. So as a beginner please watch this video. Now what is the syntax of while loop? So here while the condition and then we put our code here and then increment or decrement our counter variable. So this is the syntax of while loop. Now let us see an example on the left hand side. So here I have the counter variable i int equal to 0. Now I have a while loop within which I have some condition i is smaller than 3. Now if i is smaller than 3 then only execute the code present inside the loop and simply print hello right. Now at the end let us increment the counter value to let's say by 1 by simply using i++. Now how does the while loop work? Now if you run this code then it will simply print hello three times in the output by using loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3 as usual and at the end the loop will terminate right. So the control flow for the while loop is like this. First we check the condition and then execute the code and then increment the counter. So when the first loop is executed the value of i is actually 0. So 0 is smaller than which is actually true. So it will simply print hello in the output console and at the end it will simply increment the counter value by 1. So i will become now 1 right with the help of this i++. Now this value of i equal to 1 will now appear at the very initial point of the loop 2 where the condition will be checked 1 is smaller than 3 which is again true. Again print hello in the output console and then i++. And finally i becomes 2. Now this value of i that is 2 again comes in the third loop where the condition again becomes true because 2 is smaller than 3 right. And again we will print hello i++ then again at the end of the loop i becomes 3. Now here comes the twist. Since i becomes 3 so this will again try to initiate the fourth loop where the condition will actually become false because 3 is not smaller than 3 right. So the condition becomes false and the loop terminates and we get only 3 times hello in the output console. So this is how the while loop works in case of Kotlin.